It's a devil wind that blows when there's a hole in your coat. And December snow is ugly when your boots have come apart. And you can't see a bright tomorrow through the darkness of today. And the country isn't pretty when you're hungry. The trail is long and empty when a gunfight's just been won. And another may be waiting beyond the morning sun. But somewhere there's a someplace, a place where I belong. Somewhere a man don't need a gun to tell him right from wrong. And it's a devil wind that blows when there's a hole in your coat. And December snow is ugly when your boots have come apart. And you can't see a bright tomorrow through the darkness of today. And the country isn't pretty when you're hungry. It's a devil wind that blows when there's a hole in your coat. And December snow is ugly when your boots have come apart. And you can't see a bright tomorrow through the darkness of today. And the country isn't pretty when you're hungry. your leg a little bit. Otherwise, you don't stand a chance, you know. Just take it easy. Take it easy. come from any of the other windows. in school. School's finished for the summer. Helping Alvarez put up some bullfight posters. Why don't he just play like other kids? Nobody made him, Will. He wants to do it. He gets a penny for every five he does. He don't need Alvarez's pennies. Next thing folks will be expecting me to send you back working for. 
You ain't sending me or keeping me anywhere I don't want to be. You ever going to know that? Come up wrong? <laughs> You're still going to that barbecue on Sunday? Hmm? There's going to be a hayride on Sunday. Isn't that the way Bud come into this world? Hmm? You remember that hayride at the Crossleys? Just after we was married. <laughs> that was no hayride. Oh. Just the two of us and my pa's rig. Well, <laughs> well, I guess there's times when a man can't tell the difference between grass and hay. Hmm? Cutting ought to helped. I sucked some of the poison out of it. No question, he's been sickened. Think you can take care of him for me? Keep him clean and fed. Lord, day suit you? Yeah. Who is he? What'd he say? Might be something says who he is in his blanket roll here. Go on. You get back to work. Say, you reckon he means to take the bank? Go on. He ain't gonna leave his horse here and then wander over and take no bank. Well, who is he? Well, I don't know his name, but he's gunfighter, all right. <laughs> you think I ain't learned to smell gunfighter in my time? He sure enough smelled all right. Comes to uh, $177.20. I'm sorry, that's all it weighs out to. All right, give it the money. Need your name? It's a bank rule. Have to keep a record in case of claim jumping, things like that. It's a bank rule. Abel Cross. Abe Cross? Why, sure. Well, I don't know him right off, except for all that hair and dirt. I heard a Santa Fe posse strung him up years ago. Might be they did, but he come out of it some way, kind he is. Say, you know, a fella told me about Cross facing down Bill Bonney one time. And you know, they didn't come much faster than the oh. kid. Ringo was faster, and Will Tannery took him. Well, Will well, don't like the story told, but that don't mean it ain't true. He's coming out of the bank. come busting into a house. What is it, Bud? Abe Cross is in town. Look, what do you mean he's in town? Who says so? He does. I heard him myself. <laughs> oh, Kyle says Cross is the fastest man with a gun there ever was. Well, that's been said about lots of fellas. Most of them dead now. Toby Leach says you was faster. Hmm? Toby Leach is a fool, yeah. Ain't it true, Paul? That's enough here. Now you go down to Swanson's and fetch me a turn of black fridge. Oh, my! Well, never mind, I'm just get you. 
damn. What'd you say? Nothing. heard of you, same as you or him, hmm? Well, likely. Why are you taking your old gun? It's more comfortable. Comes to three dollars forty cents, Mrs. Gray. We have larger sizes, my friend. Size is all right. It's, uh, it's my hair that don't fit. You'll have to excuse me. The way folks have been acting lately, I must be smelling kind of ripe. <laughs> That's right. How much? Nine dollars fifty cents. I'm Tom Cater, deputy U.S. Marshal for this town. I was wondering, Mr. Cross, uh, how long you'd be staying? Now, why does that matter? Oh, just the ordinary doing of my job. You understand? No, I don't, deputy. My horse is laid up sick at your smitties, and I can't travel till he can. Thank you. You been told Will Penray's here? I guess you ain't. I see you know who he is. Know who he was? What do you mean he's here? He lives here with his wife and son. Works at the Riata Palace Saloon. Does Will know that uh, Mr. Cross is here? He must by now. Henry's been here almost a year now. Living peaceful. Well, now that's just fine with me. I got no reason to break your peace either. And I don't want any. 